Hi, welcome to the Earth and Flax Studio. Today we're working on this custom screen door project. It has a screen insert as well as a glass insert and a custom locking system for those panels that is quite clever. Our first step is to prime with the 30% Autosan linseed oil paint to 70% boiled linseed oil. After that's fully dry, we're gonna finish with two coats of undiluted linseed oil paint. Then we'll tackle those screen and glass panel inserts. Our first step is to create the recommended 30% linseed oil paint to 70% boiled linseed oil primer coat. And once that's fully dry, we're gonna finish up with two undiluted coats of linseed oil paint. You can hand mix, but using a kitchen stick mixer or a paint mixing attachment for your drill is certainly a lot faster. I have marked a 30-70 ratio on this glass jar to create my 30-70 ratio primer. That's 30% linseed oil paint to 70% purified linseed oil. You wanna make sure you mix your primer very well to fully incorporate your linseed oil paint with your oil. So I have my primer ready. Again, that's 30% linseed oil paint. In this case, Autosan Kaput Mortem and 70% Autosan Boiled Linseed Oil. That's what makes up my primer coat. This is optional, but manufacturer recommends and a great way to get a little extra oil into dry wood before you finish with your undiluted coats of linseed oil paint. I'm gonna apply thin coats and I should be able to visually see it immediately start to soak into the wood. A little goes a long way. So you want to stretch out the paint, even when you're applying this primer coat, which is really a linseed oil stain. Meaning that it's just a higher ratio of oil to linseed oil paint. And you'll expect some transparency. It's been 48 hours since we applied the primer coat. And as I run my hand over the surface of the wood, I can tell it's fully dry and that I am now able to apply the next undiluted coat of linseed oil paint. One tip when working with linseed oil paint is to watch excess paint that might be pooling in your edges or corners. Even if it's a few hours after you finish painting, you can go back and check, see if that excess paint is kind of built up and brush it out before you leave it to dry fully. Generally, you're going to be using a paintbrush and consequently have brush strokes. I think this is a beautiful thing. It shows that it is hand painted and not a spray finish and something we should embrace. When you're applying, keep this in mind and follow the wood grain as well as the structure of whatever you're painting, in this case, this screen door. It's been a little over two days and our first coat of undiluted linseed oil paint is fully dry. In my experience, if we're going to see flashing, this is the coat that flashes the most. Don't be alarmed, as this is just an expression of the structure and dryness of the wood substrate. The key to avoiding excessive flashing is to apply thin, even coats and make sure that initial coat is fully dry before you apply the next coat. Sometimes if you're in a hurry, I've had folks uh, rush to put that next coat on before their first coat is fully dry, and they end up with this thick, coat of paint that takes forever to dry and you might even see that flashing continue. We want to build efficiently build up the layers of paint and build that paint film uh, and this will avoid flashing continuing from coat to coat. I've mixed my linseed oil paint really well and we're going to follow the exact same steps that we have. Thin even coats across the entire surface watching uh, for even consistent brush strokes.
It's been a couple days and our final coat of linseed oil paint is fully dry and we're ready to install the screen door. To recap, I've applied a 30% paint to 70% purified linseed oil primer coat on all bare wood surfaces and then finished with two undiluted coats of linseed oil paint. I've followed the same process with both the summer screen insert as well as the winter glass insert you see here. And uh, wherever the screen and the inserts meet, where wood uh, touches wood, I just wiped on that 3070 primer to avoid building up the paint film and causing the inserts to stick. So we want to keep it nice and thin on those surfaces. The reclaimed uh, screen door hardware here have these discs on the exterior side and sort of a screw feature on the interior side. And they just use pressure to uh, hold the inserts in place and makes, make the seasonal swap nice and easy. Maintenance for a project like this is pretty basic. We're going to do general surface cleaning with diluted linseed oil soap when needed and uh, apply a nourishing coat of purified linseed oil when the wood begins to look very dry. This will be based on exposure, certainly UV exposure, and when we see that visual cue, we know, okay, in the next couple of years, I should really get a maintenance coat of purified linseed oil on there or a maintenance coat of paint. It really is, if we keep up with the maintenance of the uh, coat of oil from time to time, we don't need to repaint because we're just uh, maintaining what we have on there. If kind of years pass and uh, we haven't gotten into it in a while, sure, a maintenance coat of, of paint will be uh, certainly appropriate to maintain that surface protection. This is a great project to review the basics when working with Autisan linseed oil paint. If you have additional questions, email us at info at earthandflax.com or leave a comment below.